little bit. Fear yeah. not, because um, that's a trench. Right. 100 years, uh, you know, which, uh, congratulations to the trench. Absolutely. But we're also looking at the Mac as well. Right. So the kind of Scottish version oh, of, okay. the, of the trench as well. And there's so many out there on the high street, and I thought it'd be great to just kind of show and start off with a classic one, one that you, you, you really cannot go far wrong with. Right. Let's take a look at the lovely Jane here. In oh, cute. The classic Mac, this yeah. one here. It is from Marks and Spencers. It comes in at £85. So it's a little bit pricey, but at the same time, well, it's not a £1,000. And and it'll last you forever. It's waterproof. It's yeah, going to last yeah. you forever. Um, but I want to give it a bit of, I'm thinking, macitude, right? So if I just get up one second, am I allowed oh, to do okay. this? Yeah, all right, go okay. Go okay. Go and go go if I undo. Yeah. Undo your belt here. Yeah. Basically, <laughs> da, da, da. slightly easier said than done. <laughs> but if you undo that for me, sweetheart, and at the back, what I was going to do is literally just nip it right in. So right. you tie it in. I'm going to turn you round and I'm just going to show. So you're doing that and yeah. you're bringing it in. It's creating a waste on it. it so is. it's instantly going to kind of bring that in. So pop that like that and make sure you have your collar put up and all of a sudden it turns it from a kind of a very classic item into something that's very much fashion forward that. as well. That's so really it good. instantly changes it. So anything you've already got in your wardrobe, just give that a, a, a bit of a, a bit of a macitude makeover. There you go. Thank, Thank you, you very lovely. much, my that's darling. Great. This is um, next up, you know what is Monday night food because right. it's real fast food. So I'm cooking you crispy beef with some stir fried noodles. We've got some vegetables through there. We've got some really nice, pungent, warm in flavour. So perfect for this time of year. Gorgeous. Best thing, Lorraine, it takes literally minutes to cook. And it's all in the one pan. All in the one Yay. pan, you know, so this is my sort of grub, yeah? <laughs> Anyway, first thing you've got to do with any food like this, it's all about the preparation, okay? Right. So what I've got here is these little uh, egg noodles. Now, these are great just to keep in the cupboard. They're actually in portion size. So, you know, one, one nest per mm. person. They literally take three to four minutes, boiling water, get them out, drain them. They're ready to go. Wonderful. All right? So next step, I've got some steak here. Now, you can use any, any sort of cut steak, you know, but I, I quite like sirloin for this. Mm. Really thinly sliced. And okay. one steak will do enough for four people. Oh, great. Good. Really nice, fine. And you fine. can do it with chicken or... Yeah, do you know what? Yeah, perfect. Anything you Absolutely want? perfect. Okay. It won't be quite as quick. You, right. you have to cook the chicken a little bit longer. Okay, but this is really dead simple. So we're going to give this a crispy coating. So I've got some corn flour here. So you want about a tablespoon and also some Chinese five spice. And this is where these warming flavours come in. Have a little sniff of that. Ah, okay, you've got the cloves, the cinnamon, gorgeous. the fennel, the Szechuan yes, pepper. Beautiful. Just get that in and we're introducing the flavour straight away. So I'm going to give that a little bit of a stir. We want to get that really really nicely coated mm -hmm. now i've got a lovely non-stick wok here so i'm going to go in with a dash of oil and i'm going to get my my beef in there lovely. okay now this is going to take sort of seconds to cook yes that fast best you want to do just leave it alone in there let it do its thing yeah. just crisp up while you prepare the next step okay so <laughs> what i've got here are some amazing vegetables now these are baby pak choy they come across these in the supermarkets. Yeah, you know you can get everything now. Isn't you it can great? get everything now. Okay, isn't if it you fantastic? can get the larger pak choy, then you might have to yeah. shred them up a little bit sure. uh, finer than this. But it's all about kind of cutting things into equal size portions, equal size, so it all cooks at the same same rate, same temperature. I've also got some lovely sugar snap peas, mm. which I'm just going to kind of run through, run a knife through there as well. Now the best thing about this dish, if you've got an old pepper knocking around your fridge, yeah, if you've got some carrots and sure. mushrooms. Anything goes with this sort of food. And I think that's right. that's the uh, the main sort of thing. You know, you can put whatever you want in there. So Lovely. again, I'm just going to get that. That's that's pretty much ready to go. Now we're going to add some more kind of fragrant flavours. Right. Now I love fresh ginger. So do I. You can get this in your supermarkets. Okay. Rather than getting a knife and peeling the ginger and everything like that, you know, you're going to waste a lot of it. Just get yourself a nice spoon mm -hmm. and you just peel away that no. papery skin without okay. wasting loads of the Good ginger. Idea. Okay. Now, how long have you been on the job? <laughs> She's been the queen of breakfast television for 30 years. Oh, I'd love to get you on my sofa. <laughs> Did you get too much booby bed? Yowza. Lorraine Kelly, celebrating 30 years in breakfast television. Monday. You must be the hardest person in the world to buy a Christmas present for the pressure. When they say, what do you buy one that has everything? I always say something to put it in <laughs> or something to wear it with. Because I always say, I honestly am the easiest person. Because look at me. I mean, it's like I could have either a real diamond or that could be fake. Mm. And I'm not going to say which one this is. <laughs> <laughs> but it's pretty fake. But anyway, but the thing is, I love costume jewelry. I love big old bracelets, I big earrings, and they don't have to be expensive. I'm actually really It is interesting um, because <laughs> we know that for toddlers, 
they need three times as much energy from, from their carbohydrates and they need four times as much vitamin C and iron as adults do. So <laughs> healthy eating is really important. And people <coughs> I'm still so aren't... sorry. <laughs> I'm going to go get myself a glass oh, of water. Shall I carry on? Carry on. I'll carry on. Carry on. Uh, my patient has left the room. Uh, <laughs> I'm really sorry about this. That's terrible. You know That's when you get right. that really annoying cough, doctor? You should try <laughs> sucking a fisherman's friend. They're very good, apparently. Um, oh, that's advertising. I do beg your pardon. There are other lozenges, of course, <laughs> to choose from. There are other naughty named lozenges out there as well. <laughs> now, millions of us aren't getting our five a day. What's going on? Are you ready for this? I am. Three and a half million people yes. haven't had any vegetables for a week. Um, oh. So it's important. It's so what are they easy. Eating? I don't know what they're eating. Fish and chips? Probably. Well, chips. But even chips is one portion, you know. It's <laughs> potato. The thing is, the thing is, it's really important. It's so easy. If you have cereal with a banana in the morning, nuts and raisins for a snack at lunchtime, yeah. and peas with your chips at lunch, you've already had your five by 1.30 p.m. What is the problem here? Oh, exactly. And it really is important. Are you feeling all right now? I'm feeling much better, sure? thank you. <laughs> and if we all do that, we can live to 120, scientists tell us. 120? 25% of us, they reckon, if we had a healthier lifestyle when we're young, right. had more exercise, had a healthy diet, yep. and took a wonder, a wonder drug, including a statin, wow. um, could live till 120. As long as you've got all your faculties. And have a good quality of life as well. And you've well. got a good That's quality of life then, happy days, and bring it on. And not dying of a cough. <coughs> I'm really sorry cough. about that. Are you you right need now? to get me something for that. Do you want me to listen to your chest later? <laughs> You're always doing that though. Oh, Even right, when right. there's nothing wrong with me. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> so deny <laughs> everything. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, I'm forgetting that one. It's so good telly. to see you. Good <laughs> to see you too. And How congratul I'm we really well. Congratulations on the tour of America. You've just you conquered the United States. They really they get you, don't they? They really you really connect with the audience. Well, they seem to be very uh, friendly and accepting. Yeah. You know, and you can really feel that when you go on stage. You can really feel the love they have for you. And it's it's remarkable, isn't it? It's absolutely fantastic because it's so difficult to be a success in America. America. you've got to work so so hard mm. but it's just there's just something about you that the audiences absolutely love I mean even on the front of your your album the new album hope you're wearing a scarf that one of your fans gave you a musical scarf yeah a gorgeous scarf, yeah. it's absolutely lovely it must be great to get that feedback from them you get a lot of feedback from them yeah and uh, it's good I know it is yeah. it's really really positive are you going to get any time off at all Susan what are you going to be up to at Christmas I'll have to spend it with my friends and family. Like everybody, know. of course. Like everybody, yeah. Of course, of course, of course. And home is still very much Scotland, isn't it? Although you're all over the world, you always go back to your to you your. You always return to your roots, because yeah. you have to. Of course you do, of course you do. And you're, you know, you have been so successful. Did you ever, ever in your wildest dreams imagine that this would happen to you? I thought I'd get laughed at and booed off the stage. Did you really? <laughs> Did you <laughs> honestly? You just honestly, yeah. Because it took real guts for you, that, that very, very first audition that you, that you did, which I think something like, I don't know how many millions have seen that, but it's a remarkable amount of people that have actually seen that. Mm -hmm. That took real courage to go up there, didn't it? Well, especially after your circumstances at home, which weren't very good at the time, yeah. looking at them here. But uh, I had to do something, so uh, I'd done auditions for TV before. I'd done X Factor before, mm. did an interview for them. Yep. And uh, I knew the company, and I knew they did a variety show called Britain's Got Talent, so I thought I'd ever go to it. But why not? Why not? Why not? Absolutely. There's also another reason as well. I fancy Piers Morgan. <laughs> no, don't listen. Don't make him any more big-headed than he already is, Susan. No, he's nice. <laughs> he's nice. <laughs> Seriously, you fancy Piers Morgan? Well, yeah, maybe. You used to fancy him, eh? Yeah, well, we'll never fight over men, you and I. We'll never fight over them, you I don't think. <laughs> Please, please, no. Are you no, getting no, up the heat? No, 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 no. Now, I'm always saying you're like my little sister, and a lot of people have said that, because we, we look quite alike, don't we? I, I think, think so. so. I do. I definitely da, 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 do. Lots of people have said that. Maybe we should do a sisters. You know that song? I want two, three. Sisters, sisters. There were never such devoted sisters. <laughs> and we didn't even plan that. We didn't even plan that. It's fantastic. Absolutely. It's <laughs> 